morning and welcome to this week's video. So this video that we've got here today is the first of a series of videos that we're going to be doing on little tiny quality campsites that I really really recommend on the Norfolk and Suffolk borders here. So today we're going to be taking a look at Wardley Hill campsite. <laughs> So welcome to the first video of this series of campsite diaries and this is going to be small independent campsites here within Norfolk and Suffolk that I think are worth taking a look at. They're also dog friendly and also roof tent friendly as well. So we're at Wardley Hill today which is just up the top of the hill there. The A143 is just down there, stone throw away from Beckles there and you can hear the web feet from Bungie clattering on the uh, cobblestones just over there as well. It is an absolute lovely little campsite so uh, without further ado let's take a wander around and see what facilities we've got here. So we're going to be spending the night in the tent box cargo and we are on the 4x4 field here. So this field here can fit four 4x4s four up to eight people and at £88 for the whole field that is an absolute bargain per night. So the actual site is six acres and that's a mixture of woodland and fields and all of the pitches here are all really really well kept with the odd yacht inside of one of them as well but all of the grasses around the outside of the pitches here are allowed to grow naturally which is absolutely perfect for all the wildlife. Now Wardley Hill is an ecological campsite it's not the sort of place that you're going to find a penny pusher kicking around to keep yourself entertained it's the sort of place that you come out and do what you should be doing in camping which is just enjoying being outside and then if you're too posh to pitch you can always stay in this beautiful beautiful cabin behind us here this is handmade it's completely off-grid it's got solar power it's got its own compostable toilet an outside shower there got a really really spacious kitchen there with a multi-fuel stove you've got the double bed there and two single beds underneath and then you've got this couch that's just down here that you can sit and look through the double doors at this absolute beautiful view outside and then also so you can stay in the bell tent and even a tree tent as well. So dotted amongst the long grass here you've got these beautifully looked after pitches here and it's all car free camping here so you can't actually take your car to your pitch but you can use some of these beautiful really colourful wheelbarrows to get all of your stuff onto your pitch so you can get yourself set up and enjoy this absolutely beautiful beautiful campsite. So Wardley Hill is an award winning ecological campsite so all of the facilities the amenities are all eco friendly. There's three compostable toilets, there's two showers that are run by the solar power and you've also got your washing up area as well. So local facilities, you've got two pubs really close by, you've got the Artichoke in Broome which is a really really cracking real ale pub and then you've also got the Locks Inn in Geldeston which is right down on the river so if you're bringing kayaks and paddle boards here with you, you can launch them down there. The food's absolutely fantastic, there's pretty much always some form of live music and the beer is absolutely brilliant. Now camping isn't camping unless you've got a sticky child covered in chocolate and marshmallows and a fire pit is what you definitely need here and it's something that the owners do recommend that you actually do have a fire whilst you're camping here at Wardley Hill. Every single pitch has got its own fire pit here and you can order your kindling and your logs online. Let's wander back through the trees, go back to the uh, 4x4 field and uh, let's go get set up for the night. going to be an absolute beautiful night here tonight at Wardley Hill 
I'm going to be cooking up in a second. I'm getting a bit hungry now, so I'm going to be cooking a uh, a Greek meal tonight. It's sort of a Greek meal. It's uh, something called Spitzify, which I've sort of adapted to to turn it into a one pot meal. So uh, I've just got a chunk of fat wood. Just going to shave that up, and uh, we'll get the anave stove all fired up. And the famous bushcraft lighter. So the first thing we're going to do is just boil up some water because we need to make up some stock. So while we're waiting for the water to heat up, we're just going to prep up a couple of shallots. So I'm just going to tail and top the shallots and then just chop them up lengthways and then we can get ready to fry those up. So let's say I've adapted this meal to make it a one pot meal, which is absolutely perfect for cooking on the anave stove here. And I'm using some of this pasta. I forget the name of this pasta. If I find it, I'll stick it down below. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely brilliant stuff to use for this. And also this time of year, instead of using a tin of uh, chopped tomatoes, there's absolutely tons of tomatoes at home. So we've got a bag of those. We've got a pepper and we've also got six uh, Greek sausages as well. All right, so we'll just make up a pint of chicken stock. Right, so sausage wise, I'm just gonna roughly chop these up. These are uncooked, these sausage. I forget the name of these sausage, but I'm just gonna roughly chop them up. I think these are with um, leeks in size, these are. All right, let's get the shallots. And the sausage in first. Well, these tomatoes don't need much cutting up. You can tell it's like end of season for homegrown tomatoes because these are soft as soft gets. Right then, so now in goes the tomatoes and the peppers and a little bit of salt. We'll put the pasta in. Hopefully that'll absorb some of that fluid. Right, it's going to be sausage and tomato soup, I think. Well, it's not as thick as I wanted, but there's absolutely loads of it. So if you're hungry, get your backsides down to Wardley Hill and you can have a bit of a nosh up. Right, let's get this served up, shall we? Beautiful food, beautiful location. The sun's now disappearing. The bats are out. It's absolutely idyllic here, it really, really is. It'd be absolutely perfect if it wasn't for that noise from the road down there. But uh, I'm sure that will quieten down later on. So yeah, Wardley Hill, definitely one place I would recommend. One thing I did forget to mention is hammock friendly. So if you like to swing between the trees, then uh, there's plenty of woodland and stuff here that you can, you can swing your hammock from. But yeah, brilliant, brilliant place, whether you're in your camper van, you're in your roof tent, or you're in your tent with your family or visiting in one of the uh, the cabins down there or the bell tent or the tree tent there's absolutely loads of opportunities down here so it's definitely one place that i would recommend season shuts on the 27th of october so you haven't got long this year or it'll be next year when you uh, you need to come and visit so i'll stick a link to them in the description below and also a link to their instagram so please do give them a follow it is an absolute brilliant brilliant little place so thanks for watching this little review on wardley hill my name's martin this is the first of a few videos that we'll be doing on small dog friendly and roof tent friendly uh, campsites in norfolk and suffolk so if you're new to the channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time on the next one